Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today to talk with you guys about Premier League Player of the Month for the month of February. I'm going to go through the voting, talk through who I think could possibly win it, and just talk through some possible scenarios as well. I'm really not sure who's going to win this one. I think Bruno Fernandes has the hype, right? As the hype, as the United player, the transfer coming in, he's got the hype. But there are also some other contenders as possible winners in this player of the month. So I want to talk through some of those with you guys today. Talk about the market moves that we could see because of it. And then also, um, just, you know, look at the SBCs. What they've been requiring for player of the month has been pretty copy-paste this year. Uh, so I want to look at some of that stuff as well. And, you know, again, some of the possible outcomes that we could have. Now, obviously, player of the month Premier League, there is no card in here right now at the moment. They uh, they just gave Messi a dynamic, by the way, which looks nice. Nice dynamic image, Messi. Um, but the Aguero player of the month SBC is, is gone. And it's been gone for a couple days now. From what I'm seeing, at least. I haven't seen this Aguero SBC. I think it, it actually expired on Friday of last week. So I'm not sure what, what the delay was with player of the month. They didn't get the voting out right away. But now the voting is out. And there are a couple players that I do think have a chance at winning this month's player of the month. And I want to take you guys over to look at the voting right now, which was just closed as of very, very recently. You can see here, these are the players that have been voted or been nominated this month. We've got Alonso, we've got Aubameyang, Calvert-Lewin, Pope, Bruno Fernandez, and Doherty. Now, again, may I remind you, the Premier League player of the month vote is, I, I think it's 10%, either 10 or 20% fan vote. So the fan vote does not matter that much. Although it does have a small impact, uh, it does not matter that much. And I want to talk you through this because if the fan vote has ever had a significance, I think we will figure that out and we will know this time around. We will know that this time around uh, because I think Bruno Fernandez is definitely going to win the fan vote portion of this. If we could see any metrics, if they would release any metrics and, and just kind of tell us and show us who had the most votes uh, inside of this player of the month voting, I think it would have to be Bruno Fernandez because of the impact that he has made for in Manchester United since he has transferred in um, from the Portuguese league. So he has, he has transferred in as of the January transfer window. He's in Manchester United squad and he's been playing well, right? Alonso had a great month. You don't want to take away from him. Aubameyang, Calvert-Lewin, all these guys had good months. I really think that you can narrow it down to three guys, but I'm most interested in Bruno Fernandes. And I think I just think that there's some possible way that Bruno Fernandez could pull this out. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But these are the three guys that I think could win. Alonso, Aubameyang, and Bruno Fernandez. Let's look at some t statistics. This is from the PremierLeague.com page. And this is where they're getting the statistics from. Marcus Alonso, two games played, one win, one draw, and three goals. Uh, that was a, of course, he had the brace uh, against in the draw against Bournemouth and the winning goal against Tottenham. So that was a big goal for him there. Big goal for Chelsea uh, as he's coming back to the team. Aubameyang also three games played, two wins, one draw, three goals. So that was uh, a big time. He scored two goals in the win over Everton. That was a big game. Um, and he's at the, the joint top in the battle for Golden Boot, which is big. And then also Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I don't think he has that great of a shot since Everton did lose a game during the month. Um, you know, Matt Doherty, three clean sheets, one assist, you know, good, but not good enough. And then Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez, three games played, two wins, one draw, only one goal and two assists. But since he has come in, Manchester United's form has just absolutely reversed. Uh, and he's made a huge change in the Manchester United squad and he has the hype right now. So Again, I'm going to talk about Bruno Fernandes a lot, and I, it all depends for me. You know, we've seen a lot of hype players win other Player of the Months because of voting, right? We've seen um, Ben Yedder win a Player of the Month. We've seen Mbappe, who was probably going to win a Player of the Month next week. Uh, I meant to say Neymar. We have seen in the Neymar win Player of the Month. I really want to see if for the first time in a long time that somebody wins Premier League Player of the Month just based on a hype. Because a lot of times for the Premier League Player of the Month, it's all based on goals and like statistics, right? Like based on some of the winners that we've had in the past, all you've seen is the guys that have scored the most goals that month, except for this Trent. The month that Trent won was pretty interesting, although Liverpool obviously had an insane year. 
Uh, but a lot of these guys, if you look back at the statistics, they win because they have the most goals. Puki, Aubameyang, Vardy, uh, Mane, Arnold, and Aguero, they have the most goals in that month. And that's why that's why I'm leaning towards possibly Alonzo or Aubameyang winning. But I'm really curious to see how much hype this has and if Bruno Fernandez does win. So I want to take a look at all three of these guys starting with Bruno Fernandez, look at what the possible SBC cost is and how we could invest for all three of these. Because the SBCs, whether it's Bruno, whether it's Marcus Alonso, or whether it is Aubameyang, the SBCs are going to be somewhat comparable in terms of what they require. Uh, and we'll talk through that. But Bruno Fernandez, if he gets a player of the month card, I could either see it being 89 rated where they go one up above this inform or 90 rated where they would possibly go plus two from the inform. Uh, and if it is 90 rated, I think he will have 90 pace. He will have pl 90 plus shooting. He'll have like 93 passing, 94 passing. This card, if he gets a plus one or a plus two, would be nuts. We could even base it off of this card, whether he gets a plus one or plus two. Uh, we're talking over 90 shooting, of course, above 80 physical. He's already above 70 defense with an upgrade. So this card is going to be pretty insane. Four star, four star as well. And he's got the hype right now. Bruno Fernandez has the hype right now in foot. And again, there would be so many people that would run into this SBC. If EA had any say in this, they would 100% use Bruno Fernandez as the player of the month. But as we all know, the voting is not all EA Sports. There's a bit of a fan vote. And it's actually chosen um, by like a committee in the Premier League, which I think is made up of some of the of the, the managers, the coaches, they actually put in their vote to kind of submit and say who they think the player of the month should be. So I would be really interested to see if Bruno Fernandez does win. We'll find out on Friday, I think, is more we'll find out. But Bruno Fernandez would probably be a 90 rated card. How much would the SBC cost? I think that EA could get away with making this somewhere between anywhere 700 to 900,000 coins. That's kind of a range where I could see them putting this SBC. And I think a lot of people would do it because it would be a very high rated end game Bruno Fernandez card. Don't know if we'll get a tots because he was a winner transfer, but we'll see. So that's Bruno Fernandez. I'm kind of rooting for him to win because I want to see how the FIFA community would react to this SBC. I'm not a, a Man United fan, but I know a lot of you guys are and a lot of you want to see this card and you voted for him. So I'm kind of rooting for him. I really am. GGMU hype, baby, right? Exactly. Now we go on to Alonso. I think scoring three goals from a left back position is insane. This man's got two informs already this year. If they give him a player of the month, they'll probably do an 88 rated card. And I'm not interested in this unless it hits 80 pace. If they juice the frick out of his card and give him 80 pace, then I would be interested. He would be Hullet Gang as a left back and he would have an insane card. I don't see that happening though. I probably see like 75 or 76 pace being the most that he gets. And who really wants a left back Premier League Player of the Month card, unless you're a Chelsea fan or an Alonso fan, this card really doesn't cut it in FIFA, right? For FIFA purposes, this card doesn't cut it that much. If they would give him an SBC, though, I would expect it to be somewhere around, around like 150 to 200,000 coins for the Marcus Alonso uh, and probably 88 rated once again. And if they gave Aubameyang an SBC, this one's intriguing to me as well. Um, because Aubameyang just got an inform a couple weeks ago for one of his performances where he did bag a brace. Uh, and if they give Aubameyang one, I think they would give him a 90 or a 91. You know, I, it would probably end up being a 90 rated player of the month. So it would only be a plus one on this. And it probably wouldn't end up being worth it because I can't remember an Aubameyang player of the month that has ever been worth it. Every, every time he's gotten a player of the month SBC, it's been like the smallest of upgrades and always overpriced. If you remember back to like last year in FIFA, at the beginning of the year, he got a player of the month. It was really not worth it. They required his gold card. I think that might've been the last player of the month that they actually required the gold card as a part of the SBC last year in FIFA 19. Um, but if Aubameyang does get a player of the month, it would probably be 90 rated. Uh, and you would do basically an upgrade on, on this card, I think. I don't know if they would jump over the headliner. That would be interesting to see. If they did jump over the headliner and gave him a 91, I mean, he might have 90 shot, he might have 80 passing, and the 97 or 98 pace. So that could be an interesting card if he wins as well. But I think that SBC would be the most expensive of the trio of possible winners, probably coming in at somewhere around 1.2 million coins, anywhere from like the 1.1 to 1.3 or 1.4 million coin price range, in my opinion. 
um, because he does have this headliners card that is upgradable, and they've been they've been pricing player of the months really expensive this year. That's another thing that I want to talk about when they do these SBCs. Regard, you know, not regardless, but other than a few exceptions, I'm talking player of the month Vardy. He was very cheap. I'm talking maybe like Osimhen player of the month earlier on in the year. A lot of the POTMs this year have been overpriced. This Neymar, a little bit overpriced in my opinion. This Messi, very overpriced. This um, Holan, very overpriced as well. Uh, by the way, that pronunciation brought to you by the Norwegian guys in my chat and in my Twitch chat telling me and uh, informing me how to pronounce this guy's name. It is Holan. The Yeah, that's how you say it. Just Google Translate it. It'll help you out. Anyway, um, the player of the months have just been overpriced for most of the year this year. And if you look at a lot of people's teams, how many player of the months do you see? You might see the first POTM Messi every once in a while. You might see a Neymar. Ben Yedder, Neymar, the first Messi, and um, Vardy are like the most often used player of the month SBCs that you've seen in this game this year. Um, and obviously we've had way more of these SBCs this year. Maybe some Timo Werner's out there as well. You know, Timo Werner because of the upgrade. But a lot of them just haven't been the best value, especially Premier League. I mean, you maybe see somebody with a Sadio Mane Player of the Month SBC, but just not that many people uh, are, are are doing Player of the Months from the Premier League, especially this year, just because they've all been overpriced, which is unfortunate, but it just is kind of the way it is uh, in the way they're doing Player of the Month SBCs this year. Now, investing for these, how do you prepare? How do you invest? Uh, and, and what happens to the other special cards of this certain player? Bruno Fernandez, this winner refresh card is like 600,000 coins at the moment. This inform is about 300,000 coins. That's why I think the SBC could be the 700 to 900,000 coin price range. All of these SBCs have looked identical this year. The only things that change are the nationalities that are required for the card. If you look at Neymar, if you look at Messi and even Holan, a lot of these guys as SBCs, they just require Argentine players and a high rated squad or a, squ a player from that team that they play on and a high rated squad. Then you have a squad that is made up of the league that player is in and a high rated squad. That's literally all these SBCs are this year. They're just kind of, they're just bland. They're not as cool as player of the months used to be. And I've been talking about that for the past couple months with the way they've been doing these, right? So the, this is the way that EA is doing these SBCs now because they don't create certain pinch points in the market so that people can make coins or that people are unavailable to do the SBC because cards are extinct. Um, they don't pinch the market as much because, you know, in, in years past when they would they would put out a player of the month SBC and it would require players from the teams that, uh, let's say, Aubameyang wins player of the month and during the month this month they played against newcastle and everton right that that was two of their wins this month or they they drew over everton no they they beat newcastle i think but well, whatever they played newcastle and they beat everton so you would have an everton player and you would need a newcastle player and whoever else they played during the month you would need one of those players in that squad and some of those players would go extinct because if they had like an 82 rating on the squad like newcastle how many newcastle players are of a higher rating all of the Newcastle players that are like 80 rated, they would just fly on the market because you would have these cards getting put into SBCs and there's, you know, nobody really invests for these. Danny Rose, Newcastle card. Like this card would probably be five or 6,000 coins just for that one SBC because he's, if you need a higher rated squad, even this Dupravka, they would be expensive because of those pinch points. So EA has gotten rid of those this year and all they do is require high rated golds, which they supply so much on this market anyway, that they just don't rise that much in price, especially for player of the months that aren't really OP and really doable. So it's again, really bland how they're doing this SBCs. So if um, if Bruno Fernandez wins, I would expect probably like four, anywhere from four to six squads. And then like one of them be a Premier League squad, one of them be a Portuguese squad, and one of them being a Manchester United squad. It's literally copy paste. What do we have here? PSG. Ligue 1, and Brazil. Let's go take a look at Messi. As, as we just did, we had Argentina, Barcelona, La Liga. It's the same copy and paste. Now, I don't think they did Norwegian. They didn't do a Norwegian squad with, with Holon, with, which makes sense because how are you going to get an 84 or 85 rated squad with a Norwegian player in the team? It's not going to be that easy. So Bundesliga, Dortmund. It's just the same copy and paste method with these SBCs. So again, if you're going to invest in it, who could you be investing in? 
I mean, Premier League higher rated across the board. Higher rated right now are still decently cheap as of me making this video. There are still some decently cheap high rated from the Premier League. You know, if you're going to focus on any little space of cards here, I think you want to focus on the 85s, the 86s, and the 87s uh, because those would cover whoever wins. If Alonzo wins and they make it kind of cheap and people go out and do it, right? Maybe you look at some 87s and some 86s. If they do like one squad or something like that, that'd be crazy. But, uh, you know, maybe a guy, maybe a guy like Ederson, 28,000 coins. You can probably pick him up for like 27 on bid or lower. You look at some of these 87 rated Bernardo Silva at 20,000 coins is fantastic as a right wing position change. Ozil, if Aubameyang would win, would be probably a great investment. Moutinho is always a solid one because he's always a center mid. Center mids are the best for SBCs as 84s. And if you look at this guy's price, he fluctuates a ton during the year. Look at this. He's been down to 3,900 coins, back up to 6,000, down to 36, back up to 6,000. I mean, it almost happens monthly and we're on a downturn with these guys. He was 2.4K, went up to 3.1, and now he's down at 2.1 thousand coins. So again, Portuguese as, as well. If Bruno Fernandes would win, that could be a good investment. So just look through some of these higher rateds, man. Just basically make sure you have your club stocked with high rateds and maybe have a couple in your transfer list. And again, it just comes down to the hype and who is going to win this. It just comes down to hype and, and what they price the SBC at is if people are actually going to go do it, right? I don't think I have a John Moutinho in my club. So I'm going to go club stock one. Boom, 2,000 coins. Please get in my club. I will take that. I'll take an 84 rated Moutinho. I don't think I have an, actually, I might have an Ozil in my club. So I'm not going to go by Ozil. Let's see if there's any other ones that I could look at. I mentioned De Gea. De Gea could be a decent one. I know he's 89 rated, but if Bruno Fernandes does win, I would expect them to throw in Bruno, wait, 35K for this. That is not a bad price. Never mind, it's gone. Uh, if for Bruno Fernandes, I would think they would use a Manchester United um, player as a restriction or as a requirement in some of these SBCs. De Gea as an 89 rated, he was 43, 44,000 coins last week with the shapeshifter pack and Ramos coming out at the end of the week. Um, so I do see this card going back over 40K in the near future. Again, I've got a lot of high rated that are still stocked on my transfer list because of the possible play of the months and SBCs that are coming. So I don't mind you guys going in on some of these because they're still decently low, but just focus on Premier League if you do think that some of the that there could be some market movements and there could be a good value SBC dropped this weekend. One last thing I could talk about in terms of investing is with the informs, right? As you saw, a lot of these teams require informs in their squads. Premier League player of the month, inform wise, you see a lot of 83 or, 80, or you see a lot of 85, 86, 87 squad requirements. So I would focus on like the 83, 84, and 85 range. Henderson at 17K. Obviously, very linkable as an 85 rated inform, one of the cheapest, not the absolute cheapest, but one of the cheapest. I'm a fan of that. Henderson, you know, low 17,000 coins. Any others around here? Again, we're going to stick to Premier League mostly because people will be doing these SBCs. Alonzo's left back. Again, this is how much hype Alonzo has. Now, no offense if you're a Chelsea fan. Alonzo left wing back 22.5K for this inform, one of the cheapest 86s in the game. And he might get a player of the month. So again, this SBC, it just doesn't have a ton of potential. We don't know who's going to win exactly, but I do think it's going to be either Bruno, Aubameyang, uh, or um, our favorite left back, Alonzo. I really hope that it's Bruno though. A lot of you guys are Manchester United fans, so I hope for you on this one. I hope that you can get yourself an upgraded Bruno player of the month. I, again, I just want to see how EA would release this SBC and I want to see how the community and the foot market would react because I think it'd be cool to see this SBC. But again, if I had to pick one of the three, I might say Aubameyang has the highest chance just because of the three goals that he scored and maybe Alonzo. But I really hope that Bruno Fernandes has, can win because he has made a big difference since joining the club, joining Manchester United. And hopefully the voters see that and we'll see what happens. It should come out on Friday. I would expect this SBC on Friday because that's when they usually give out that award to that player. That's when they've been doing it. I don't know if the coronavirus stuff is going to mess with this. We'll see. Um, hopefully not. But I would expect that SBC to be out in the morning, my time or midday UK time, U UK time, excuse me, on Friday. That's what I would expect for the 
Premier League Player of the Month this month of February. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.